Why drink water is important. Water is a solvent or a liquid that will dissolve other solids, liquids, and gases. It can carry and transport this stuff during a number of the way. Two of water's most vital roles are the very fact that water transports nutrients to cells and carries waste products far away from cells. Thanks for watching, my name is Julio Vargas, welcome to my channel, hit the bell icon, make a comment, thanks. Within the presence of water, chemical reactions can proceed once they could be impossible otherwise. Due to this, water acts as a catalyst to hurry up enzymatic interactions with other chemicals. Drain the cup because water acts as a lubricant meaning that water helps lubricate joints and acts as a shock for the eyes and medulla spinalis. Body hydration and fluid exchange help regulate blood heat. Do not be afraid to sweat. It helps regulate your blood heat. Once we begin to sweat, we all know that blood heat has increased. As sweat stays on the skin, it begins to evaporate which lowers the blood heat. Did you recognize that water contains minerals? The beverage is vital as a source of calcium and magnesium. When a beverage is processed, pollutants are removed and lime or limestone is employed to remineralize the water adding the calcium and magnesium into the water. Because remineralization varies counting on the situation of the quarry, the mineral content also can vary. Which factors determine what proportion water we need, what factors affect what proportion of water we'd like? All of the subsequent help determine what proportion of water we need to require in. Climate, warmer climates may increase water needs by a further 500 milliliters 2 cups of water per day. Physical activity demands, more or more intense exercise would require more water, counting on what proportion exercise is performed, water needs could double. How much we've sweated, the quantity of sweating may increase water needs. Body size, larger people will likely require more water and smaller people would require less. Thirst, also an indicator of once we need water. Contrary to popular belief that once we are thirsty we'd like water, thirst isn't usually perceived until 1-2% of body weight is lost. At that time, exercise performance decreases and mental focus and clarity may drop off. We know why water is vital but how can we set about hydrating properly? Fluid balance or proper hydration is analogous to energy balance, food intake versus output. It's important to avoid fluid imbalance for health. We get water not only through the beverages we consume but also through a number of the food we eat. Fruits and vegetables in their raw form have the very best percentage of water. Cooked or wet carbohydrates like rice, lentils and legumes have a good amount of water where fats like nuts, seeds, and oils are very low in water content. Fluid needs by body weight, one of the simplest thanks to determining what proportion of water you would like is by weight. This is able to be the essential amount you would like daily without exercise. Asterisk yes, you will need to seek out a metric converter like this one to try to the maths. Water needs, 30 to 40 milliliters of water per 1 kilogram of body weight example, if you weigh 50 kilograms, 110 pounds, you'd need 1.5 L2 liters of water per day, hydration indicators, you should be beverage consistently, not all at one time, throughout the day. The body can only absorb a particular amount of water at a time. Any overzealous drinking could lead to health issues. Thirst, as stated above, if you're thirsty, you're already dehydrated. Urine, the color of your urine is additionally an indicator of your hydration level. Colorless to slightly yellowish, hydrated. Soft yellow, hydrated. Pale gold, hydrated. Gold, dark gold or brown, possible light to moderate dehydration. Brown, dehydrated hydration plus electrolyte strategy, these easy steps will assist you to hydrate daily plus before and after workouts. Determine what proportion of water you would like to drink on a day-to-day -day using the weight formula above. Pre-hydration, drinking about 2 cups of water before intense exercise ensures adequate hydration to start out. During exercise 1 cup 8 ounces of water mixed with electrolytes about 3 quarters water to 1 quarter electrolyte every quarter hour approximately. After exercise, fluid intake is required to help in recovery. Recovering with a mixture of water, protein, and carbs may be a great idea additionally to electrolytes if needed. Formula, approximately 15 grams of protein, 30 grams of carbs, electrolytes, and water, thank for watching, blessings.